Welcome back to the channel. So earlier this year, I moved from London to the Royal Borough of Windsor. And for a while, it was the center of tension for many people, but now it's gone very quiet. Yeah, I go from Windsor to London, where I work every day. So I got time to kill on the train. So I think, yeah, why not uh, use an XPS 15 from Dell to, um, kill some of that time and get some job done while I'm on the go. Okay, let's see here. There we go, we got XPS on the back sides. Very nice, silver. I guess this is the equivalent to the Mac PowerBook. It's gonna be very interesting to work with. Yeah, so let's, let's get out into the wild. So as you can see, I've been really busy going back and forward to London and Windsor. And I used this XPS 15 from Dell here for two and a half months now, I think, since I bought it. And I must say I can now comfortably make a, uh, some kind of verdict about this. But before we do that, let's look at some of the tech specs for this one. So it's an Ultra HD. It has 16 gig of RAM, the 512 gigabyte of SSD on this one. The graphics card is a GeForce GTX 1050. So it has four gig of RAM. I must say Resolve runs really smooth on this one. So I've been even doing some uh, node-based compositing in the new Fusion tab that's been added. You have the editing, the, the grading, you have Fusion and, uh, and Fairlight, that's the sound editing. And yeah, so it's a complete package. I can do all my YouTube stuff on the fly in uh, transit actually <laughs> it's it's really cool so yeah i load up my uh, my footage on this one so i added this to the kit the uh, lassi rugged and this one i picked this one up as well it's the wacom uh, intus the smallest i can find so yeah uh, bluetooth common connection so it's really nice because uh, i have my three uh, button uh, mouse and uh, resolve it's really, especially editing, it's easier for me to um, do it with this Wacom. So a verdict now, what, what do I say about it? So yeah, it's been a really nice experience using this one, going back and forward. And uh, there's one drawback in uh, my setup and that's the screen. It's really nice screen, don't get me wrong, but I must say it's a bit too glary because it's, yeah, it's a high gloss one. And uh, I learned that there is a matte version, so I would definitely go for the matte version if you want to buy one of these Dell XPS 15. So yeah, let's dive into DaVinci Resolve now and just take a look at uh, some of the new features. For example, the new uh, Fusion tab that was added. Really good. Okay, so this is DaVinci Resolve and this is actually where I spend my time to and from Paddington Windsor every day. This is the edit tab. So that means resolve if you haven't seen it, this is it. And it's black band design that produced this software. So I guess it started up as a uh, color grading and they have added uh, editing, now fusion and Fairlight. Fairlight is the sound editing uh, part of it. So fusion is a node based compositing and um, yeah. So I guess um, when you start a project, you import your stuff into the media bin so you can make uh, bins, you can sort things. This is more the housing of everything you need to actually complete the project. So 
editing, uh, this is where you start to edit. You can, it's a non-linear editor as any other like uh, Adobe Premiere, but uh, I think the editing capabilities is really good. I, I don't really miss anything. For example, like here, I wanted to, uh, where is it? There, yeah, there you go. This text here, I wanted to add this. So what I did, I uh, imported this clip into Fusion and then I added a text here. So you can see here, I have a, uh, if I hit the one button here, you can see I started to, uh, you can actually start to uh, do this, uh, edit the text. Uh, we have a uh, spotlights, a few here to light up the text. I merge it together so I get this uh, result here and I render it into pixels. This is the render node. I merge it together with my background. So this is the background, I merge it together. And I also do here a, uh, a roto. So I have my roto for my shoulder and my head, merge it together and uh, use this as a mask. I actually roto this on the train and it was uh, shaking. So yeah, you get really good in uh, rotoscoping when you edit, uh, when you roto on a train because it's moving around. So <laughs> the color part of this is really good. So for example, here, if I take a clip here in the end, here, for example, and go to color, it's the last clip. Um, let's take this one, for example, and toast this. So, this is the default. If you want to add something, for example, you have a lot of LUTs here, film looks. Uh, let's add a node here. So Alt S, you add a node. You can preview the LUTs and how it's going to look like. Let's say I want to use this one and drag it there. And then I'll say, oh, I want to change uh, some of these uh, and add another node here and start to grade actually. Grade, for example, lift uh, the blacks. You can see it down here in the scope there when you can see it start to when you don't crush the blacks there. Maybe bring down the mid tones there a bit and uh, the gain here can. So, yeah, it's a really nice uh, color grading and it's industry standard for. Uh, for uh, finishing and color grading. We have everything that's needed for color grading. You can do secondaries, you have log grading, you can track. It's an awesome grader. It's I really recommend it. So if you're starting out in YouTube or something and you need an editor, this one is for free. It's a no brainer. Fairlight tab, this is where you can start to mix your um, sound. So we have a mixer, we can add tracks. I'm, I'm not sure how many tracks, you can have a, a ton of tracks. And you have EQ, dynamics, you can add effects. There's a, a lot of things. So there's a studio version, you get even more effects, I think. But this one is the free and I haven't uh, stumbled into any limitations that I can't uh, work around. The delivery tab, this is where you actually render. So the project, you receive the set in and out, choose what, um, type of uh, output you want and you queue it up and uh, hit go and render it so yeah that's uh, DaVinci Resolve I'm gonna come back with uh, Resolve tutorials later on as well because I'm planning to buy uh, this new um, pocket cinema camera and that one actually is also made by Black Manage Design and it produce uh, cinema DNG so that's a raw file so I'm gonna do my projects Gonna do a project, for example, gonna film it, do uh, post production, uh, grade it, and do 3D and uh, finish it in uh, Resolve here and edit it. So that's gonna be later, but now let's get back into the wild.